What up, man? What's been going on? Hope everybody's been busy out there getting and getting that money, man. I hope everything's been good to you guys. Coming in here to the end of the summer, early fall, you know everything's gonna be ramping up here once we get into this busy season come uh, October and November, usually gonna be pretty crazy. I don't know how much more I can handle, to be honest with you. I mean, we're running at full capacity, but that ain't here what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to bring up two points. One point is, you know, as you're building your business and as you're, uh, you know, you're, you're taking on different things and you're subcontracting for other people and you're working with bigger companies and you're meeting the reps from the manufacturers and the people at the counter at the distributors, the person you order dumpsters for, from, you know, uh, insurance agents, adjusters, you know, all the people you come into contact every day and after a while, you kind of create this system in this in this revolving door to where people come to you because you've been to them so many times. So I was breaking it down and I thought about it because I had somebody call me and refer me a job that uh, they kind of do roofing themselves. It's like, man, it's weird that you're referring me, but it's just the, it's because every time I say I'm going to do something, I do it, and every time I say I'm going to be somewhere, I, I'm there. There's never an excuse. There's never any BS. There's never any runaround. It's like. I keep my word and people know that you know we do good work you know and everybody says that but I care so much man I care so much we do good work we do good work I inspect everything and check it all so um, there's no doubt about that but people kind of catch on you know they're there they see it they interact with customers you know when the adjusters are done they ask the customers how did it go or the people the distributors always have people come in and commenting on, on us or our communication or and, and eventually it's just this the snowball gets keep pushing in the snow it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and pretty soon you have this giant snowball to where even if you shut your office phone off just the people that have my numbers would just constantly call I mean it's just like it's just like everybody um, you created this you know this entity the go-to guy he became the go-to you know I always I always re reference is like an extension cord I'm, I'm just a big extension cord I'll take the power which is my team to the tool you know which is like the job that we're gonna do so I'm just running between everybody making sure everything gets from point A to point B without any failure and if there is any issues I'm there to clean it up in the end so uh, I just wanted to make that point you know like when you're when you're doing something and you never know who you're going to interact with just because the person works at Myers and they have a small 1200 square foot house or a 600 square foot house you don't know who that is you know I get it you don't always go through your full presentation with someone that you don't feel is qualified I get it but at the same time you never want to disqualify someone you know I and all of us have had people that we thought were never going to be able to afford it and they'll just write a check so you never really know but you never really know who you're going to interact with and all the people that you talk to on a daily basis you know, you talk on the phone, you're ordering materials, like I said, dumpsters. You know, all the small things, these people, the word goes around after a while. And if you say what you're going to do, you're on time with your bills, you owe them money, and you're constantly paying them, they, that, that shows that you're a responsible person, you know. If you owe your dumpster guy five grand and he's chasing you around for it, he's not going to refer you work. You know, it's the small things because all these people, all these people are interacting in the same environment as you. And they know so much more people. So it's just a, com it's a compounding factor. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So you got to keep your word, and it's very, very, very important to always keep your word and don't bullshit. Pay your bills on time, and just you know do a good job. Take time because it will come back around to you. Just because you do a favor once, or you you know, it, it always comes back down. You know, there's so many times where I've been out to just fix a pipe collar, or just you know it's leaking around your bathroom vent, and I'll just put some caulk around it. I was like, listen, you know, I just caulked it no charge they're like oh come on I gotta pay you I'm like don't worry about it you know just call me when you're ready to get the roof done you got about two years left and sure enough they'll always call two three years later say hey Eric you know you came out oh yeah I remember you um, I went out and sealed that pipe collar for you yeah you know I want you I want you to come do my roof now and most of the time it creates such a trust you know uh, block their numbers in your phone use caller ID download caller ID apps always answer the phone with their name hi John wow you remembered me you know it's like it's the small things it's the small things that create big business environment, big capitalization, and big um, overall big profits is what you're eventually shooting for, right? But at the same time, keeping your word and keeping your inner network is your powerhouse. You know, you, you advertise, but your inner network is your powerhouse. Your, your powerhouse is the people that you interact with every day, not just your friends and family, but distributors and adjusters and, uh, you know, whoever. You order from at the 
Tim Hortons. There's a Tim Hortons by my house, man. I'm a sucker for it. I go there almost every morning. You know, they all know what I do. They know who I am. So whenever anybody needs a roof, Tim Hortons is my powerhouse, that, that location. So you never know, man. You never know. And, and some, so-and-so's dad could be the head of this, and you never know. You get interlocked with one physician. I got a couple groups of um, physicians that I work for. They just write the check. They, it's not even a quote. There's no bidding process. Give me a fair price, and they're writing the check. Um, I got a group of you know ethnic, um, some ethnic uh, people that I always work for. You know, they're within their family, and their family's huge. Italian builders. You know, there's a group of Italian builders we work with. You know, it's it's um, you never know, man. You never know. It could be the guy at Tim Hortons, the girl at Tim Hortons, handing you the coffee that just sees the logo on your truck every day, ends up you know giving you. A, quarter million dollars in business over the next you know year you never know so you always got to keep your word keep a good image um you're not there to impress you know drive up bumping some young gz even though i like some young gz <laughs> but you're not there to like impress people like that you're you know you're always there no matter where you are to to cast your shadow and leave your footprint you know that's what you got to do and you got to remember that shit but The second thing I'm doing for the first time, man, so check it out. I've been talking about this for a while. I just bought a 12-unit apartment building along with six houses. So total now, I have 21 units. I have 11 houses, and I have a 12-bedroom apartment. It's not two of them are mine. So I have 20 uh, rentals, 12 apartments, and then or a 12-unit apartment, and the rest are single houses. So I've taken all this over. I've created two more businesses, one for the apartments and then one for the uh, real estate and then Paramount, which is my roofing company. So I've created three entities that generate income. Now I paid a ton of money, more than I ever thought I would pay for anything in my entire life for these properties in this apartment, but it's what's gotta be done. You gotta reinvest and grow. But So for the first time I'm going to this apartment building to evict three people. I'm going to deliver a notice that says they have seven days to leave. I've done everything in my power to give these people ample time to pay their rent. I came in, I gave them leases, I explained the whole situation, like, you got to pay on time. Today's September 11th, they haven't paid, so this is what I got to do. So it's interesting feeling, you know, like, you evolve, you're doing, you know, you're shingling, and then you're running a sub crew, and now you own a company, and that company is prospering. Now you're buying rentals and buying houses, and now you own an apartment building. You know, it's like, wow, man, that's cool. It's a lot of stuff. You know, it's like millions of dollars, um, which is cool. I'm, I'm, I'm so thankful for the opportunity, and, and you know, blessed every day. But it's like, it's a weird feeling because it's like to me, it's a business. To you, to them, not to you, but to them, it's their home, like their home where they live. Maybe their kids live there. Maybe they just had a baby. Maybe somebody died. I don't know. And my office manager is a little bit, you know, she's like, oh, well, they said they're going to pay, blah, blah. I'm like, no, it's a business. You got to run it. You know, we can't. It's a business. It's a business. It's money. You know, it's my money. It's money in the end. I don't care what the excuse is. You know, they still got to pay me. So um, I'm going to evict three people. I'm going to hand them, hand deliver a letter. You know, I'm going to be nice. I'm not here to, you know, ruffle feathers, but it's a weird feeling, man. You know, you cross into a different business, a different bridge, and I'm wearing all these different hats, you know, trying to evolve and, uh, you know, conquer everything because I want a lot, man. I want a lot, but it's just a weird feeling. So I don't know if anybody has uh, been through the same thing, but for the first time, you know, I've had, I've had a few rentals. Luckily, I have good tenants. But these ones are just three of 12 are just not cooperating. So uh, this is what we're going to do. So it'll be the first time through the court system for evictions. It's going to be the first time throwing people shit out. Uh, so it's, it's, it's something new for me. And uh, as long as you're learning stuff and you're doing new stuff, you know you're growing. If you're doing the same thing over and over, then you know you're not growing. So it's a growing pain for me. I got to get used to it. I got to be stern. I got to turn my head on stuff because I'm also a caring father. But at the same time, it's like, man, everybody's got the opportunity. You know, it's, it's the same opportunity as I have, as you have, as everybody else around us has, is to get out there and get it. And if you're choosing not to get it, then I don't know. But I know that you can't stay at my place for free. So I don't know, man. Just wanted to talk about that. You know, I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been slacking. I've been so busy, honestly overwhelmed. We have so much work, I don't have enough people to do it. And, you know, I don't really, I, I'm trying to let go a little bit, trying to build my company again, going through a growing pain of maybe getting a 
like a full-time project manager and supervisor, like a VP. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I, I just had a lot on my mind, man, because it's just so much. There's so much going on. It's not a bad thing to get I'm thankful for, and I'm never complaining. It's just growing pains. It's, uh, but sometimes it, it gets to me, you know. If, if I tell somebody I'm going to do something, if I tell you I'm going to do your roof September 18th, and I can't be there, then, you know, it's like, damn, you know. And it's like, there's so many, there's so many. But we're learning, we're getting there, we're going to make it. Always keep a positive attitude, positive outlook. Just know that whatever you're going through, you know, one day at the bonfire, you know, while you're sipping back something, you'll be laughing about it. Remember that time when I was going all crazy because I didn't have anybody else and now I have six VPs. I should have done that way sooner. And then somebody's going to, that you mentor is going to come ask you that too. Hey, what would you do? Be like, oh, you're just going to get a VP. What do you mean? You're like, oh, get a VP. That's crazy. I'm not going to pay sixty or $80,000 a year to somebody that's coming right out of my pocket. I know that would be the conversation one day, but I'm just not there yet. So I like to control everything. I like to hold everything. That way everything gets done my way and it's a good way. But one day, I'll have to, I'll have to grow out of it. We all do. So, all right, guys. Stay on the grind. I'm on my way. Deliver some paperwork. <laughs> uh, bittersweet, right? But, all right, boys. Get out there and get it.